Hey guys, welcome to Medifaction. Today, let's learn about aging. The consequences of aging appear after reproductive life when evolutionary role of the individual has been accomplished. Aging is distinct from mortality and disease although aged individuals are more vulnerable to disease. With aging, the mechanism of homeostasis is slow. Hence, the response to various stresses takes longer to revert back to normal structure and function. The average age of death of primitive man was barely 20 to 25 years. However, currently average life expectancy in the West is about 80 years. In general, survival is longer in women than men. Higher life expectancy in women is not due to difference in the response of somatic cells of the two sexes. But higher mortality rate in men is attributed to violent causes and greater susceptibility to cardiovascular disease, cancer, cirrhosis and respiratory diseases for which cigarette smoking and alcohol consumption are two most important contributory factors. The life expectancy of an individual depends upon the following factors. Number 1. Intrinsic genetic process. That is the genes controlling response to endogenous and exogenous factors initiating apoptosis in senility. It has been seen that long life runs in families and high concordance in lifespan of identical twins has been observed. Studies in centenarians, that is people who have crossed the age of 100, have shown that they lack carrier of apolipoprotein E4 allele which is associated with high risk for both heart disease and Alzheimer diseases. The next factor is environmental factor, for example, consumption and inhalation of harmful substances, type of diet, role of antioxidants, etc. The next factor is lifestyle of the individual. Lifestyle of individual such as diseases due to alcoholism which are cirrhosis, hepatocellular carcinoma and other lifestyle including smoking from which bronchogenic carcinoma and other respiratory diseases may occur and even drug addiction lifestyle. The next factor is age related diseases. For example, atherosclerosis and ischemic heart disease, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, osteoporosis, Alzheimer's disease and even Parkinson's disease. Now let's check the theories of aging. The first theory is experimental cellular senescence. By in vitro studies of tissue culture, it has been observed that cultured human fibroblast replicate for up to 50 population doublings and then the culture dies out. It means that in vitro there is reduced functional capacity to proliferate with age. It has also been observed that with every cell division there is progressive shortening of telomere present at the tips of the chromosomes which in normal cell is repaired by the presence of RNA enzyme telomerase. However, due to aging there is inadequate presence of telomerase enzyme. Therefore, Low telomere is not repair resulting in interference in viability of cell. Now let's move on to the theory in invertebrates that is genetic control in invertebrates. Clock. These are a special type of genes responsible for 
controlling the rate and time of aging have been identified in lower invertebrates. For example, clock 1 gene mutation in the metazoa or Xenorhabditis elegans results in prolonging the lifespan of the worm and slowing of some metabolic functions. Now let's move on to next theory which is diseases of accelerated aging. A heritable condition associated with signs of accelerating aging process that is progeria seen in children is characterized by baldness, cataracts and coronary artery diseases. Another example is Werner's syndrome. This is a rare autosomal recessive disease characterized by similar features of premature aging, atherosclerosis and risk for development of various cancers. Next is oxidative stress hypothesis. Aging is partly caused by progressive and reversible molecular oxidative damage due to persistent oxidative stress on the human cells. In normal cells, very small amount of total oxygen consumption by the cell is converted into reactive oxygen species. The rate of generation of reactive oxygen species is directly correlated with metabolic rate of the organisms. With aging, there is low metabolic rate with generation of toxic oxygen radicals which fail to get eliminated causing their accumulation and hence cell damage due to mitochondrial injury. The role of antioxidants in retarding the oxygen damage has been reported in some studies. Next is hormonal decline. With age, there is loss of secretion of some hormones resulting in their functional decline. Another theory is defective host defenses. Aging causes impaired immune function and hence reduced ability to respond to microbes and environmental agents. Next is failure to renew. Aging causes accumulation of senescent cells without corresponding renewal of lost cells. Now let's see the organ changes in aging. First is cardiovascular system. Atherosclerosis, arteriosclerosis with calcify cation, Mockberg's medial calcify cation, brown atrophy of the heart, loss of elastic tissue from aorta and major arterial trunks causing their dilation. Nervous system, atrophy of gyri and sulci, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease. Musculoskeletal system, degenerative bone diseases, frequent fractures due to loss of bone density, age related muscular degeneration. In eyes, deterioration of vision due to cataract and vascular changes in retina. Hearing, disability in hearing due to senility is related to autosclerosis. Immune system Reduced IgG response to antigens, frequent and more severe infections. Skin Laxity of skin due to loss of elastic tissue. Laxity is somewhat related with wrinkles. Cancers 80% of cancers occur in the age range of 50 to 80 years. Hope you have understood the video. Like, subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.